Greetings, everyone. This is Nathan Chris coming at you live from just outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. And if you're watching this tutorial, let me be the first one to say welcome to Send Out Cards. Now then, what we're going to do in the next few minutes is I'm going to show you what you need to know when you first start Send Out Cards, what you need to know so that you can be more effective and more efficient in your time. Because after all, time is very important. So let's jump into this. Now all you have to do is choose your web browser. You can use Safari, you can use Google Chrome, you can use Firefox. Uh, right now I would stay away from Internet Explorer. It doesn't seem to interface very well. So Google Chrome, Firefox, or Safari is your best bet. Now what you're going to do is go to www.sendoutcards.com and if you're already a user, if you're already signed up, you would just click sign in and you would enter your username and password. If you have not yet joined, all you have to do is click join, you fill out some information, and you get your own unique username and password and full access to an online greeting card and gifting store. And it's personalized and customized to you, meaning you can use your own photos, you can use your own um, logos, things like that, and all your contacts are stored securely for just your use. So it takes just a few minutes, go ahead and do that, and then when you're ready, go ahead and click sign in. Now then, it's already got a username and password saved in here, and this is going to be a customer account, and that's what I want to show you first. So I'm going to click sign in, and what's going to pop up is the dashboard. This is your main menu. This is what you're going to see every time you log in. And you've got the big buttons right there in the middle of your screen that says send cards and send gifts. And as much as you want to click on those buttons right now, don't do it. I'm kidding. We're going to get to that, but you just, you're not ready yet. You want to make sure you're organized so that as you're sending cards and you're adding your contacts, that your folks are organized and you don't have to go back and backtrack later. This is what I'm talking about as far as saving you time. So I'm going to go through this main menu, there's this menu bar up here real quick and just show this to you so you have an idea of what it is. But everything that you're going to need to know is in this menu bar. Send a card, send a gift, your company tab, your main menu, uh, your support, your dashboard your reminders, your shopping cart, how to add more points and expense. So I'm going to go through these just real quickly and tell you a little bit about what each of them represent. So first of all, I think it's important under Company tab to know that you've got an information center. You can see about upcoming local events and you've got uh, a support tab. So uh, if you've got questions, you want to search questions, maybe you're having a concern or you're having an issue, you can search it here. You can access downloads to include your own handwriting, font, signature, and, and a lot of other different things. And then one of the biggest things I think you need to look at is tutorials. And what tutorials are is if you click on this, it's going to redirect you to uh, a bunch of different little videos. And they're in different lengths, and it just depends on what it is. But it just talks to you about uh, different things that you might be having an issue with. How to send a card, how to send a gift how to import your contacts, how to manage your photographs, different things like that. So if you ever forget and you can't get in touch with your sponsor or you just want a little refresher, all you have to do is go to Company tab, click on Tutorials, and watch the video that you're needing to find. So that's a very, very important feature I want you to know about. Now, from this tab, again, at any point at this stage, all I have to do is click on my dashboard, this little button right here, and it's going to bring me back to my dashboard. Now, while we're talking about the company and we're talking about getting help, one of the things I want to point out is this little button down here. And what this is, if this is lit up, this is your chat button. So at any time that this is active, you can do a live chat with customer support. So if you've got questions, you've got a certain concern, maybe you didn't see it in tutorials, uh, maybe you just want a real quick answer, you can get in here, you can start a conversation, and you can just address that issue very, very quickly. So customer support, phenomenal to work with. That's a very, very nice feature. Um, continuing under main menu, I'm going to show you some of these features in just a second, but I'm going to keep moving on. Uh, again, here's a help button. It will uh, access support and different things of that nature. Your dashboard, again, brings you to your main menu here. Now, this right here is your reminders. And what's going to happen is as you're adding contacts to your contact management system, uh, you're able to add birthdays and you're able to add anniversaries and and other special occasions. So two weeks before anybody's birthday or anniversary, the system is going to remind you automatically. So you never have to remember another birthday or an anniversary. And when it pops up, all you have to do is come in here and click send a card, and boom, you're done. You have acted on a prompting. So very, very cool, very, very uh, easy to do. Also, the system will send you an email. It'll send you to the email address on file, a reminder of those person's um, special occasions. Additionally, in, in even more um, 
in my opinion, more convenient than that is if you've got the iOS app or the Android app downloaded on your phone or your tablet, it's going to send you a notification right to your phone. So you can literally act on a prompting in the moment from your smartphone. Totally cool. Uh, super, super, super easy. And we'll show you that probably in a later video. Moving on, you've got your shopping cart. If you've partially created a card but you haven't finished sending it out, it's going to show up here. So that way you can finish it. And then you can buy more points and expense. And I'm going to show you that in just about two minutes. But first, I want to show you uh, this little sil silhouette is you. This is your account. Okay. And here it shows you this is your own little point bank. This shows you how many points you have and how much expense you have. And if you remember, points are how we pay for cards and gifts. So this tells me I've got 456 points to buy cards and gifts with, right? And what the expense represents is this is postage. So this is how I would pay for my stamps, or this would be how I would pay for my postage for sending out cards and gifts. Uh, additionally, the only gift that costs money, dollar for dollar, is if you decide to send a gift card. So if I want to send a $10 Starbucks card to somebody, I would pay for it with my expense. All other gifts are paid for with points, okay? Now then, you see here, here's the customer account name. If this was just your own personal name, it would have your own personal name. This just happens to be a business account, so this is the business's name. And it comes down here, and you can look at your customer number, or you can look at your distributor ID number. What this is good for is if you ever want to share contacts with somebody, or say you've created a really nice card and you want to share it with a friend, or vice versa, you can give them this number and they, you guys can share contacts back and forth. Very, very nice feature. Uh, it comes down here and it shows you the default return address. So this is the return address that's automatically going to be printed on every label that, uh, that this car, the, the cards send out from this account. If I ever want to change the default address, say the business moves, I can change it. All I have to do is click edit. I can come down here and change my password very very easy and if I want to upgrade my account if I'm a customer and say I want a, a bundle option which if you don't know about we can share more information with you on it but that's just some of the added features you can upgrade your account and get a bundle option and uh, if you're interested in, in using this system and not only using it but sharing it with others to get paid you can upgrade your account and you can make money by sharing this with other people so now then that is your um, that is your account settings. That's how you modify this stuff. Now, since we're here, I'm just going to show you very, very quickly, if you wanted to add more points, if you wanted to add expense to your account, how could you do that? So we're going to, you can come up here and click on points and expense, or you can click on this green plus, and it's going to default you, it's going to redirect you rather to um, a place to buy points, and you can buy them in lots of 100 or 200. You can even buy a single card if you want to. And uh, you actually have the option to choose a different amount, so you can add as many points or as few points as you'd like to. Now, you see the price here. The price is going to be different depending on what option that you have, what option you join send out cards. Okay, there's pay as you go option, there are subscription options. And the reason the price is different is it depends on how much you're paying per point. Okay, so uh, a pay as you go option, for example, you pay 66 cents a point. That's the most expensive you pay for a, a point in our company, and that would bring the cost of a card to $1.98. So $1.98 to create a fully customized, personalized card with photos and business logos, uh, even at our most expensive price point, is still about a third of what you'd pay at the marketplace value. And if you want to buy down the cost of that card, if you want to buy down the cost of that point, you can choose a subscription option between purchasing 20 points and 100 points or more a month, and it buys down the cost of that point, which then makes the cards cheaper. So um, scroll down here, and if you want to add expense, you can go in here and you can add a stamp. Again, an individual stamp for the U.S. or an international stamp. What I recommend and what I do is I would just go in here and I would add expense in $5 increments. So I've got... $7.46 right now, so I would probably add about $25 and select it, and then I would continue. And what I would do is the expense is not on a subscription. This is just buying it as needed. So, you know, you see that I'm getting low. I would just add more to it. Once I use these stamps up, once I use this expense up, I would just go back and add more again as needed. Now then, I'm going to go back to my dashboard. And we are now, we are officially ready to start adding contacts to our contact manager. 
So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into your main menu, contact manager, and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click groups because we want to add some groups to our contacts. So this is a way to organize our contacts as we're adding them to keep them um, obviously you know more <laughs> more organized, right? So that you can find them easier, so that you can select the ones that you're looking for. So I've got a bunch of different groups here. But if I want to create a new group, let's just call this one test group. Click add a group. And it tells me this has successfully saved, right? It tells me at the top. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to find test group. And here it is. So it's, it's created successfully. If I want to click here, I can edit it. If I want to click here, I can remove it. And you can add multiple groups. So you might add friends and family. Um, or if you're a business, you might add customers or prospects or uh, referrals so you can organize these people specifically to your needs. Very, very cool. Now that I've got the groups created, uh, I don't have to click this dashboard button. I can if I want to, but in this case, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to come up here to main menu and I'm going to click add a new contact. So I'm going to go ahead and click on here. And this is how you would add one contact at a time. I'll hover back over this so you can see it for a second. If you've got all your contacts added to a spreadsheet, you can actually import your contacts from a database. And it makes it very, very easy if you've got them all in one place to import them all, all at the same time. And actually, there are videos under that company tab, under tutorials, that show you exactly how to do that. So, But I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to add one contact at a time. I'm going to scroll down a little bit, and I'm going to add my friend John. John Doe. I can add the company name, I can add an email address, but the only information that I have to have in order to save this is first name, last name, and, an, and a good mailing address. So uh, I'm going to add 124 Elm Street. We're just going to make this up as we go. I'm going to say Charlotte, North Carolina. And we'll say 12345. Now, uh, if this was an apartment, I might add the apartment number here. So I'm going to just say this is apartment 101. Okay. So just you can you can tailor it and you can add again whatever information that you want to. Uh, the only thing you have to have is first name, last name, mailing address, and come down here and make sure the country is selected. You can send anywhere in the world, anywhere in the world that they receive mail. So it's going to default to the United States, but make sure it's the correct country. Now then, you see it's got a place to add phone numbers and fax numbers, websites, things like this. I just recommend, guys, if you have this information, add it in there. This is like a little black book. This is a backup. You know, if your computer, if something happens to your computer or something happens to your phone and that's where all your contacts, that's where all your phone numbers and stuff are, are stored, you're going to be in trouble. So if for any reason, so even if your phone went dead and you needed to make a phone call and you just didn't have the number, all you have to do is borrow somebody else's phone or get on the computer and go to sendoutcards.com, log in, and pull up that contact, and all your numbers here are stored. So it's kind of a backup system, and I recommend if you've got the information, add it in there. Now then, I'm going to come down, and it's going to ask for John's birthday. So I'm going to add John's birthday. He was born January 1st, and I happen to know he was born in, uh, let's say, 1975. Okay, His anniversary, he's married. So he, was, he was married on February 1st, 2015. Now, you don't have to have the year, okay? All you need is the month and the day, and it's going to remind you, um, again, two weeks prior. You can just add this if you have it. You don't have to add it. I'm going to go ahead and add the spouse's name in here. So I'm going to add Jane. And as long as the last name is the same as the main contact, so in this case, John Doe is married to Jane Doe, you don't have to add anything back here. So it's automatically going to link it to John's account. So it's going to say Jane Doe, John Doe. And I'm going to add Jane's birthday in here. And Jane say was born in March, but I don't know the year she was born, so I'm just going to leave this blank. And that's no big deal. We can come down here and we can click Add Children. And we're going to add Johnny. And we'll say Johnny was born in April on April 1st. And I don't know Johnny's year of birth either, so we're going to leave that blank. And what I can do is now I can come down here and I can add them to a group. So I can add them to, we created that group called Test Group. 
But this is why you want, might want to make multiple groups is because they can be added to more than one group. So they might be in, say this is a business networking group. They might be in a business networking group, but they're also friends of mine. And, you know, maybe we also share other simil similar things. We're, we're both in a real estate group. And, you know, so you can add them to more than one group. This is very, very important when you're going to uh, send multiple cards to people later that you've got these groups. Now then, I can come down here and add a note and say, um, I met John and Jane on a cruise to the Bahamas. And if you make any spelling errors, it's going to show you. I just didn't capitalize that. So <clears throat> you don't have to worry about being 100% correct in your spelling. Your, your computer will remind you, which is a very, very neat feature. Um, so I might add a note to that. This is a personal friend or, or somebody that I know. But if this is a business contact, if I'm using this for business purposes, I might add specific notes about the business transaction. Maybe I sold them a car. I'd put the specific make model of the car. Uh, if there's something we talked about or something we connected on, I might add that in there for a refresher so that when I go to talk to them again, I can pull up these notes and I remember uh, it's just a memory jogger for me. I can date the contact if I want to, so I remember what I did, and I can come down here and click Save. Or if I didn't have their address or I want to verify their address, I could click here and it will pop up uh, a verification system to, I'll just show you real quick. You can put in their first name, last name, and if you know the city, state, or zip they live in, you can search for them and just make sure that you've got the right address. Now then, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to save this contact. If I wanted to, I could save and send them a card immediately, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to save the contact. And again, it notifies me at the top. Your contact, John Doe, has been saved successfully. Now then, we've gone back to the main menu, and what we're going to do is now we're going to find a contact. So what I can do is I hover over main menu, and I come down and find a contact, right? And what it's going to do, it's going to pull up my contact manager database. And I can search in, I can search by somebody's first name, I can search by somebody's last name, I can search everybody that's in a specific city. And you can really look, but one of the really great things is you can search by groups. So this comes in very handy. Uh, say I want to send a family reunion card out, and I want to invite just my friends and family. So I would clear my group selection, and I would click on family, and I would click to invite my closest friends. So what I would do is I would click on these two groups and click find a contact. And what it's going to do is it's going to pull up every one of those contacts that I have assigned to these groups, which is a very, very neat feature, like I said, especially if you're going to send the same card to all those groups, maybe a Christmas card or an invitation, something of that nature. Uh, I'm going to clear these for now. <coughs> and... No, that's okay. I'm going to select them all because I want to just search for last name Doe. And I want to search all these groups and find out all the contacts with last name Doe. So here they are. Here's uh, John Doe. Here's Jane Doe. And here's little Johnny. And then here's another John Doe. And here's another Johnny Doe. So you can see that I've done this more than once and I've used this as an example. But let's say I want to just view this contact right here. So I'm going to click view and it pulls up this account and it's got all the information that we just put in here it's got his wife in here it's got his son uh, it shows what groups he's in shows the notes that we added and I could come in here and I could add another note spoke to him on the phone today he's interested in an XYZ product or you know um, he's looking forward to the next cruise that we're going on you know again so you can add notes and you can modify this to your to your needing I'm going to go back to dashboard one more time and now that is how you, you've created your groups you've learned how to add your contacts now you are ready to start using your send out card system so at this point you can now start sending cards you can start sending gifts and you can add your contacts and they're organized so that you don't have to go backtracking and find them at a later date so I hope you guys find this useful. I hope you found it informative. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to help anybody that's got any questions. And if you need anything else in the future, make any suggestions, and we will try to accommodate for it. Guys, I appreciate it. Have a great day.